following video is a race rant. Uh, I was a little upset about something, and I ranted as hard and as passionately as I could. My commentary and comments are not meant to offend or uh, alienate anyone, but they are just that, my comments and my opinions. I do not accept, and I reject anyone that will attempt to say what you heard that got you upset, Javid, was the truth from God, and that's why it upset you, because it was the truth from God. No, what it was, it was the drunken opinion of an ignorant redneck. So, that's what got me upset. You're getting ready to see the result of that uh, drunken opinion from that redneck. And I had to go out and find my quiet place and talk to the Lord. And then I cranked up my camera and I talked to you guys. And this is the result. So, here it goes. My race rant. Alright, so, I'm pissed off, right? Really, really, really pissed off. And I hope you can hear me, because I had to come out here to my, my quiet place, you know, to just kind of blow off some steam. I was down in the restaurant, I was in the bathroom, right? And these two guys were in there. And, uh, when I came out of the bathroom, had his hat on, because it's cold, his hat. And, uh, one of the cats, white guy, he looks at me and he says, you know what? You people ruined the country when you elected that man president. Now, first of all, that he had the balls to stand there and look me in my face and say, you people. Second of all, that he would ignorantly say, when we elected that man president, talking about Barack Obama. Then I, I, I looked at him and I said, sir, I mean no disrespect to you, but I would appreciate it if you uh, get out of my face because I don't need to hear your rhetoric right now. So he stepped aside. I walked on out, and as we were standing in line getting ready to pay, this cat walks up to me and says, let me ask you a question. He says, you voted for him because he was black, right? That's the only reason you voted for him. I'm sick and dead tired of people saying the only reason I voted for Barack Obama and the only reason that most African Americans voted for Barack Obama is because he's African American. Let me get something perfectly clear. In the United States of America, being black has never been all you ever needed to succeed. So for people to assume that the only reason Mr. Obama ascended the presidency was because he was black is hogwash. Because usually being black was the thing that has held us back or would hold people back in the past. So anyway, this guy said we ruined the country, right? We ki we're, we're killing the country because we elected this guy. Let me, let me, let's talk about that for a second. The country. We're killing the country. Black people are killing the country because we elected Barack Obama president. What country are we talking about? Are we talking about the United States of America? Is that the country we're talking about? So let's take an examination and see how black people are killing the uh, United States of America. Uh, let's see here. First and foremost, a fellow by the name of Christopher Columbus discovered America. My question is, how in the world can you discover something that people already live on? Now, if somebody walked up to your house and knocked on the door and said, I just discovered your house, I'm moving in, and I'm moving you into the basement, and when I put you in the basement, you're going to sit there until I decide I need you, and if I don't ever need you, then you can just pretty much die out. That person didn't discover your house, that person stole your house. Am I right? So, in a sense, when America was settled, 
It wasn't settled, it was stolen. The people who lived here, who, who, who were indigenous to this land, were pushed aside and 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 pushed aside until they've gotten to the point where you can't even find a Native American anymore. Like I said in, my, in one other video, I have seen a polar bear riding a bicycle more times than I've seen an actual Native American in my lifetime. Why? Because they were moved out of the way. See, that's what America does. It displaces people for its own good, right? But we're killing America. So then you got all of this land now that you bartered for with the, the Native Americans by offering them goods and services that they didn't need for the land that they owned. And, and, and you set up laws in this land deciding that you're going to teach these savages how to live and what to do. Never, never really thinking about they had their own way of life and their own way of communion with God. So, you got all this land now. What are you gonna do with it? Let's farm it. So we get these slaves, right? These Irish slaves. But the problem with an Irish slave is an Irish slave can blend in. An Irish slave, he runs, he buys some clothes and blend in. You won't know he was a slave. So we had to get something that had a little bit of color to it so that we could recognize these people when they tried to get away. You displace folk brought them over here and then told them it's God's will that you're here. How is that God's will? How is it God's will that you took a country from someone and then displaced a whole other race of people to take the country and then displaced a whole other race of people to help build the country? So, with all that said, help build the country. You use the Chinese to build the railroad, use the African Americans to build everything else. I mean, the country, the United States of America was built on the backs of the slaves who came to this country. Now I know you're, you're oh, James pulling the race car, James doing this. Well, you know what, I've got a right, because when a white man gets in my face in a bathroom of a restaurant and tells me that my people are killing this country because we have voted somebody in the office, then yeah, I can pull the car and I'm pulling it right now. So we are killing the country, right? Black people are killing the country. Black people are murdering the United States because we have, uh, elected Barack Obama president. Is that what you're telling me? Okay, well, here. Since the United States was built on the backs of those who have African blood flowing through their veins, right? That means we built it. We made it. We made this country what it is. While others were busy making laws to oppress and call hoarding money and, 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 and this and, exploiting people, we were building. Asian Americans built, African Americans built. Mexican Americans right now, building. You don't even want to let them come in the country. Who you think, oh man, ooh. So, we're killing the country? Why not? Why not? Why not? Let it die. Let this country as it is die. Because maybe that which will be birthed out of it will be much better. So if we built it, if, if, if it was built on our backs and we're killing it, may as well be. My father used to say like Bill Cosby did. We brought you into this world, America. We built you, so why can't we take you out? I think it's very presumptuous. I think it's very bullheaded. I think it's very pig-headed to believe that the biblical prophecy of the new world order and all that stuff and how the Antichrist is going to come, I think it's very presumptuous for you to believe that America is the one that's going to be that, that particular power. Why is it okay for America to send to be the most powerful nation in the world, but it wasn't okay for Rome to do it? It wasn't okay for the Persians to do it. It wasn't okay for the uh, for, for the Persians to do it. It wasn't, it wasn't okay for the Babylonians to do it. Why not? When those nations rose up, they were evil. They were the head of Satan. But when America rises up, oh, it's God's divine providence that America shall do well and do good. You people are out of your freaking mind. To sit up here and say that a country that has built itself on the back of oppressed people from the moment it was founded, from the moment it was stolen, uh, it, it is in God's divine will. Out of your mind. Absolutely out of your mind. So forget you. I'm out.